Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CK2, the continuation of the House of the Dragon series. If you haven't watched that series of the House of the Dragon, I suggest you go watch that because the sight of the say, a lot of people died. So if you haven't watched the previous two videos, it will be in the top right hand side of your screen right now, the little card thingy. I'd go watch that first if I were you. Or if you can't be bothered, the too long didn't read version is essentially the descendants of Aegon II Targaryen won the Dance of Dragons, although like 90% of the Targaryens died, and in the end Aegon's brother Daeron the Daring ultimately renewed the line of succession back to the Iron Throne and took it from the Valarans. Seriously, go watch the other videos. It's, uh, it's, it's very hectic. So then, assuming you've watched the last video or you just don't give a shit, we're playing as House Goldfire, the cadet branch of House Targaryen and sons of Aegon II, taking for ourselves the Golden Dragon, which was Aegon's personal sigil. But starting off every good story is a fucking tragedy. Uh, Daemon's firstborn son, Aegon Goldfire, uh, has been murked by the cannibal. He tried to tame it, it did not go well. But he did leave him with two grandchildren. Daeron and his twin sister Daenerys, I have betrothed them because Targaryen incesty stuff. And what could possibly go wrong? Daemon the Second, the Golden Dragon, is going to confront Cannibal after it killed his uh, killed his son. It was a dangerous action, and many of your men have been burnt or wounded, but you have forced to combine the uh, yeah. Okay, so Cannibal is now in my dragon pit. Though I do think Cannibal is actually probably the oldest dragon alive. I actually genuinely think he is actually the the oldest dragon alive because he's Balerion's kid, so all of the others are way younger. Everyone else is dead. The only one that those guys didn't. Yes, yeah, Sunfire is eighty one. Gregos, ah, Gregos is ninety five. Yeah, it's probably Cannibal then Gregos. So I'm playing as Damon the Second, who is the bastard son of Aegon the Ambitious, uh, who was murdered by the uh, Lucaris Kinslayer and the uh, Valerion Usurpers. And they were overthrown by Daeron the Daring, who put his nephew in charge, I believe, King Jaehaerys, who was named as the Avenger, despite the fact that it was mostly his uncle that did all the stuff, with the help of the Lannisters, which is why the Queen at the moment is a Lannister. I believe we married my half-sister Jehaina to the current Lord Paramount, Lauren of the Westerlands. Jason the Just, at the time, executed like all of the usurpers. A lot of Targaryens died that day, and a lot of dragons died throughout the entire war. There's actually only nine living members of House Targaryen left alive. Prince Maelor, the heir to the Iron Throne, is betrothed to Velar Targaryen, who is his cousin from Dragonstone, which is Daeron's kid. Uh, speaking of Daeron's kid, my daughter Daela is betrothed to the Lord Aemond of Dragonstone. Visenya is betrothed to Prince Jaegar, who's the spare son and Prince of the Iron Throne. My other son, Jaehaerys, is not actually married to anybody right now, and I don't know who to marry them. Honestly, stat-wise, it might be good to marry my kid off to Alice Stark. She's got strong and attractive. Get a Stark for my kid. Go for it. Fuck it. Why not? Decent enough. Decent enough traits. Very good traits, actually. But yes, House Goldfire is basically just chilling. No much going on, honestly. We're just, well, having a funeral for my kid, but other than that, and I have a new dragon in my court for some reason. Ah, this chick. Okay. And also I have a son. Another son. Haven. Do I name him Aegon after the other dead kid? I feel like it's too soon to do that. We'll name him Aemon. Aemon. That's fine. Aemon's fine. House Goldfire will essentially be Targaryen loyalists for as long as the Targaryens don't piss me off. And uh, we'll see what happens. Interestingly, young Prince Maelor has Dark Sister as well. And skilled fighter and his own dragon now as well. And brilliant commander. He's actually pretty badass. Yeah, he's pretty good, to be fair. And he will marry my cousin from Dragonstone. She'll be fine. And everything will be fine. And we will have an age of peace and absolutely nothing bad will happen. The Goldfires have a long and storied history of trying to catch Cannibal and failing miserably. Uh, my, my daughter is now a, a extra crispy, which is just great. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I don't, is he still in the Dragon Pit? Yeah, he's still in the Dragon Pit. Yep, okay. Well, one of my kids tried... Tried to get the dragon, but failed miserably. Just, just stop fucking with cannibal. It's not worth it, dude. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, it's not worth it. I'm just going to Tawny's and traveling to the wedding of Prince Megor. Speaking of weddings. My daughter Visenya, who is 
burnt like a piece of crispy bacon. D Dayron has got quick, because he is apparently has potential to be great. His uh, his sister is not so great, but there we go. F absolutely bugger all is happening. It's just a bunch of weddings and peace. Boring, boring peace. <laughs> what? How the crap that was? Fucking Jager works quick, dude. She's already pregnant. Okay, and she's got a dragon. Starfire. It does mildly concern me that Visenya got pregnant before the wedding happened. It's probably fine. <laughs> Maelor is just deciding to kill dragons for reasons that escape my understanding. He's just killed it. He just whacked Aleron, apparently. Okay. I guess. <laughs> The crown prince trading my grandson and future heir seems like the legit way to go. My grandson can uh, grow up in King's Landing with the prince while he runs around the countryside killing dragons for reasons that skip my understanding. Apparently, Aemon Targaryen will partner with the Lord Paramount. Hold, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess he's officially the Lord Paramount of dragons. I don't know why it's the Lord Paramount. See, it's very strange, but apparently it is. I am officially convinced that my son Aegon just was. Like, maybe he, like, tripped on a rock or something, or just Cannibal didn't like the smell of him or some shit, because, uh, my son Jaehaerys just walked in and tamed the Cannibal, so good for him, I guess. Uh, everything else going on, the only thing of note would be the fact that the king actually gave the Iron Isles to his son, Prince Jaegar, the, uh, the guy that my daughter Visenya married, and they have a bunch of kids. Their heir is Prince Aegor. They are actually currently beyond the wall fighting the, uh, well, beating the living shit out of the Night's uh, the Wildlings with the Night's Watch. Because, uh, they're defending against King Theodric Widowmaker. I'll be damned, something is actually happening during the time of peace. I say time of peace, it's, um, I mean, it was only a matter of time before the Iron Isles rebelled against Prince Jaegar, so we will definitely go help them. I don't think he'll need it, because he has two dragons with him. His own dragon, which is admittedly kind of tiny, and my uh, my daughter's dragon, who's Stormcloud, who is less tiny. So, yeah. Uh, I think that they'll be fine around me, but I will send a small contingent of men up to go uh, to go help them out, I feel. I have spent a lot of time upgrading Goldstone slowly, so I do have a sizable force that I can call on, which is not bad. We'll send a little, little under 5,000 or so men. Ooh, Prince Regal has tamed a dragon. Or hatched him. So my son flies in, helps beat the shit out of the Ironborn. Nice and easy. I don't know why we're going back this way, but okay. You could just go kill the Oakmore people. They're right there. But yeah, literally Jaharis has gone, oh, he's going to go to Oakmore and just capture all of them and end the war that way. Fair enough. Interestingly, my daughter Visenya was leading that army. Uh, I guess oh, fucking my nephew was as well. Jago was as well. So yeah. So yeah, my son literally flew north, joined up with his sister... And, uh, cousin, I guess, the prince. And just kicked ass, pretty much. Imprisoned the entire family. Why has he got familial Kingslayer? Who did he kill? Oh! Oh, when did that happen? When the fuck did that happen? You killed my nephew in a jewel of honor. For what reason? Like, when? What was the... Like, what was that dispute about? For whatever reason, those two had it out, and in a jewel of honor, Prince Jaegar killed his cousin, Ronan Lannister, who was the heir to Castle Rock. He did have another son before he died, though. Titus Lannister, who's now the heir to Castle Rock. And a ward of the crown, apparently. Okay, I didn't even see that fucking happen. That's interesting. That's, uh, that's a stain on his record, to be sure. I'm going to uh, propose a foreign tour for... Jaharis. Jaharis will go off on an adventure, probably to get over the loss of his stillborn kid that he had a while back. He's going to take his wife with him, I assume, slash leave her behind, I don't know. But he'll be gone, that's fine. Aemon, I'm kind of hoping he becomes a Kingsguard. I, d I just need one more little tick. I don't know whether or not the prince is good enough to make that happen. Ah, he's had another kid, Arian. Okay, sweet. The Targaryen line of succession is getting stronger. I was a little worried for a time there, but... Ah, yeah, we've got a granddaughter now. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, Jaeger could kind of use another son, ideally. Would be nice, but... Otherwise, everything is, uh... Everything's looking good. 
And I am apparently an adapt dragon breeder. I really wish I could change the portraits of dragons because that does not look like Goldfire. <laughs> In my head, my head canon is that Goldfire took after Sunfire's looks and he's got like gold scales or something. Golden red or golden black or some shit like that. You know, not green and red. Doesn't really work for Goldfire, but I have a dragon egg, so woo. I feel like I feel like having Dayron hunt down a better dragon later on is probably the better play. There's a lot of wild dragons laying around. There's actually way more dragons left nowadays than they actually thought about. Wild dragons wise, like the fucking Grey Ghost, for example. Well, the Grey Ghost is shy, so finding Grey Ghost is like a real pain in the ass. White Wing. Craxies is the fucking. Craxies is alive. I thought Crax. That's the Bloodworm. That's Daemon Targaryen's original dragon from the dance. After all of this time, he's still alive. And nobody else has tamed him after all this time. He's just been at the wall ever since Damon died. Who's ironically my grandfather. I thought he was dead. I thought I thought Caraxes died a long time ago. Is he older than Cannibal? 138 years. And my son has Cannibal. And yeah, shit. How the fuck is Caraxes older than Cannibal? I didn't think Caraxes was that old. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to... I, I definitely know what dragon I'm going to go for. I'm going to go to and try to get Craxies as... As, um... As Daron. When I eventually control Daron, anyway. Especially when, since the king's getting on in the age now and he's infirm. It's largely... In my head, it's it's largely Daemon... Daemon Goldfire who's running the realm and ruling him. Since the king is basically, uh... Fucked. <laughs> Uh, in order to ensure divine purity of their bloodline, Daenerys Goldfire and Daenerys Goldfire. Okay, random person with a motorcycle and really small penis revving outside my house. <clears throat> As I was saying. Goddamn cunt. I'm gonna go out there and floor a dude in a minute. Shut up! Uh, sorry, I can't get like two seconds of silence. Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, they've wed under the Reckless Stone of God, ensuring the fullness and order. Now the diary is due. What do you mean a diary is due? It's my dowry. Yep, host a wedding for my kids. Well, my grandkids, I guess. The senior is invited. Of Greatwick. <laughs> he, uh... That's, uh, that's actually a smart move on, um... That's a smart move on Prince Jager's part. He stripped the Ironborn of that entire High Lordship and then gave it to his wife. That's pretty, uh... That's pretty smart of him, actually. He gave what is one of the largest... Or is, actually, the largest High Lordship on the Iron Isles to his wife. So it's under his direct control. That's, uh, That's pretty smart, actually. Good. Because right now they're being tutored by the... Prince of the Air. Eh, like, RP-wise, it kind of makes sense that they're on just... Yeah, so he has actually befriended the Prince as well. That's pretty good. And he's befriended his brother. So they're both, they're both you know, getting along and shit. That's that's good. Hey, and he's actually lovers with his twin as well. That's uh, that's some weird Targaryen incesty love going on there. I mean, he's already become friends with the Prince, so I don't mind kind of sending him to Magon to see if he can get better training. For now. It'll still keep, you know, he's still friends with the prince and everything, so. And the prince actually, um, the prince actually knighted Daron as well. So Sir Daron Goldfire. At the age of 14, he was knighted. How the fuck? Um, okay. A uh, hardling has a lizard lion. It's a crocodile. Oh! Who the fuck? The shit? S uh, the Reachman Lord Commander at uh, level 55, the effeminate. Yeah, he's a formidable fighter. He has tamed Caraxes after all this time. Son of a bitch. That's my kid's dragon you're fucking stealing, dude. Oh, is this probably because of the whole kinslaying thing? No. It's something about reclaiming an ancestral heirloom from Lord Paramount Lorna of the Westerlands. I'm pretty sure you're just probably using that as an excuse to... Yeah... What item do you have exactly? Oh, the Curse's crown. I think I sold that to the Lannisters ages ago. So, this is just really an excuse for these two to fight it out because technically speaking, Jagar killed Lauren's son. This is this is what that's about. We're getting dragged into this. Whatever, fine, we'll, we'll join. Oh shit, I don't have actually have any like dragon riders, do I? Not unless I step down as Hand of the King to go deal with this. Yeah, because even Jaehaerys is, like, away in Essos, doing whatever the hell it is he's doing. And I can't join because I'm, you know, 
I mean King's Landing. For the sake of RP, I'm gonna say that I can't, like, just leave King's Landing, because the King is currently infirm and very old, and I'm basically ruling the kingdom right now. So the best I can do is honestly say that, like, my wife takes command as a Baratheon, and she takes command of, uh... Yeah, there you go. That's, that's really the best I got, is my wife takes command of it. We'll send Magon as well. Okay, so Magon will go with my wife and my daughter-in-law, the Stark girl. And uh, they'll go join up with the prince and his dragons. The prince is landing down at Castly Rock, by the looks of things. And hopefully I arrive in time to help. Wait, they have a dragon as well? The fuck? Oh, God. I don't think that's the prince's dragon, so I don't think the prince is hurt. Yes, I think the prince... Who did they... Oh, his half-sister. Yeah, my, my half-sister is actually still married to Lauren, isn't he? Killing Munich. Shit, Jaeger's dragon was killed. The Usman Castle Rock, my lord, during the war, the Iron Throne, the Dragon Riders, Prince Jaeger the Targaryen, the Rod of Munich, and Lady Paramount, Re uh, Jaina Targaryen. There's too many fucking J's in the Targaryen family right now. Ride and met in fierce combat. What a dance it must have been. I think we still win the battle, but the prince lost his dragon. That's not good. We've still got my sister, obviously. And if things get dire, I, I, my uh, my character can always just like say fuck this and then leave, leave King's Landing on the back of his dragon to go help. But I don't think it'll be necessary. So yeah, that was uh, at least the prince is alive and okay. But uh, she's overseeing Black Tide. She's not even helping in the war. That's kind of shit. God damn it. Yeah, I really wish I could like ask to leave temporarily or something. But I feel like I can't actually just up and leave. Like, my, my duty outweighs my uh, obligation to go fight with against the Lannisters and the Princes. In the second Princes, nonetheless. Second Princes' petty little war that he has with the Lannisters. These two are the perfect heirs. Like, absolutely perfect. Which means they are definitely probably going to die at some point. Makes sense, I guess. I don't have, really have a Reyna, do I? Dahlia, Vesanya, the Gallant. Yeah, uh, Reyna. After their grandmother. Wait, well, oh shit. Jaehaerys, you have a giant fuck-off dragon. How have you been captured by some pirate? I don't have any gold to ransom you because of fucking... I'm in massive debt. If you die to pirates, I'm gonna be so pissed off, dude. You have Aerax. Ar Ar I don't think that's a bad dragon. Yeah, it's not a bad dragon. 66 years old, it's actually not that bad. It's not the best dragon in the world, but... There we go. Daeron did not get formidable fighter, unfortunately, but... It's better than nothing. <laughs> Ironically, uh, Daenerys has... Brilliant commander. Daenerys is actually probably better a commander than the ones I've got currently in the fold in this. Wait, I've got Jaehaerys back? The fuck happened? I guess you just broke out because you have a dragon, right? Yeah, I, I, I think Jaehaerys just kind of broke himself out of prison and came home. Alright, welcome back Jaehaerys, dude. This is uh, pretty much perfect timing, my man. Um, because, yeah, we will now beat the absolute living shit out of Castle Rock. <laughs> we now have not only Arax, but Cannibal as well. Turn up. I will have to do my with my debt problem after all of this is done. Screw it, there you go. Eamon can marry uh can marry the redfish girl. She looks cute anyway. If uh, if they manage to have a kid before she dies of cancer, then uh, all will be well. A revolt against them. Oh shit, dance. Killing sea smoke, that's not fucking good. No, or is or is that good? Ah, oh, it is good. Okay, good. <laughs> uh Lionel Valerian, rider of sea smoke. This is the second time Valerians are gonna get their asses kicked at this fucking stage. Uh, Lord Perrins and Moondancer prevailed, killing Sea Smoke. Moondancer killed Sea Smoke. That's interesting. Sea Smoke is way bigger. Killing Moondancer? No! Was killed by Lady Baina. Oh, Valerian. Good lord. Aemon the Noble. Oh, that's a fucking dick move, dude. Yeah, so Necron just killed Moondancer. <laughs> Jagar's got a new dragon now. He moved on very quickly. It's a strong dragon. Once it grows up, if it has a chance to actually grow up, it'll be pretty good. I am the fifth of my dynasty to tame a dragon, and as a result, we now amass a considerable amount of knowledge to how to do so. No longer we can rely on blind luck to hatch and train dragons. We have refined the art, like the Valerians of old. I will pass the knowledge down onto my kin. Becomes the founder of a bloodline, gaining the following effects. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> dragon hatching chance, plus 350, and then dragon taming chance, plus 250. That's fucking cool. By the time of Lord Paramount Daemon, several members of his dynasty had tamed dragons. As a result, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the past considerable knowledge. Okay, I basically have, like, 
shitloads of chances now to get tamed dragons. Yeah, the Targaryen bloodline does the same thing with the hatching and the daming and the taming chance. This is just the gold fire equivalent of that, essentially. My son had another kid again. This one has strong and attract. All right, let's uh, let's go back home and deal with this fucking peasant revolt, and then we'll disband my shit and spend ages trying to get all my gold back. Now as heir, Prince Melor Targaryen will take the throne. My nephew, Aegor. So, Melor is now ruling. And he has two heirs, which is great. His brother is over in the Iron Isles, causing problems with Lannisters. And, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see if all hell breaks loose. Usually, when stuff goes to shit, it's usually during succession. Are we still Hand of the King? Yeah, we're still Hand of the King. I guess we'll stay Hand of the King. And He is my nephew. So... It only makes sense that, you know, we keep that up and we keep supporting him. And my grandson is ruling Dragonstone. I don't know. We'll stay Hand of the King, may as well, in my later years. And uh, help rule the kingdom. Help my nephew out. I'm not just going to abandon him. Although, we uh, we do have a debt problem, but hopefully that won't be too much of a pain in the ass to get rid of. I swear to God, sitting on the Iron Throne just makes everyone fat. He's been ruling for, like, not even a month. We're going to his coronation now, and he's just, like... God, God, he's gotten fat already. It's ridiculous. Power goes straight to your ass, people. You may go all news before the highest scepter. Long live the king. I like how Jaehaerys is the odd one out of my kids. I mean, he's definitely got the Balerian blood because... Fucking... He's the one who tamed a cannibal, so everybody else failed miserably to do that. Alright, well, apparently I'm still a small council advisor, but I'm no longer the uh, hand of the king. Which is fine, I guess. I guess Maelor told me to step down. Uh, or something. Uh, Jaharis has a fucking love affair going on with my, my son's old old, uh, old wife. That's interesting. Jaharis' bastard son, which we will name uh, Aegon. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, that's a bit of a, going to cause a bit of tension in the family, that. But yeah, fuck it. She'll name the bastard after her father. Makes sense. <sighs> Jago's at it again. Jago the Cruel is at it again. My fucking nephew just, like, yes, fine. He's reclaiming things again, people. He's reclaiming. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck he's trying to reclaim. Also, yet another one of my cousins is there, and they have a dragon again. Which is another Meraxes. Not the big Meraxes, but still. God damn it. Does I ask him for trouble? I think they're after the armor. That I sold, like, ages ago. I don't know. Alright, I'm not going to summon enough shit to bankrupt my ass this time. But, uh, we will have to go help my idiotic nephew. Daron has three daughters and, uh, a son now. Aegon. They didn't get the strong trait, but it is... Team up with my daughter. Another 21k forces, and we'll see what she does. Go straight to the area, apparently. Eh, burning shit on our way to the area, apparently. Never mind. Yep, we're just burning everything on the way to the Eerie. My grandson, uh, crew for command, but like very little, very little stuff, really. Eh, we'll give you that. Good education. Ah, we've taken the Eerie immediately. Apparently, just flying straight up to the Eerie does the job, which historically speaking makes sense. <coughs> um, Jorman, the king of the woods, he has a dog, a wolf. And now a dragon. How the fuck is he tamed Caraxes? 